Sean Mathrain, Director of Statistics at the Central Statistics Office, CSO, provided an update on the status of the National Population and Housing Census. The 2022 census marks a historic transition for the CSO, as it is the first in the region to utilize a computer-assisted personal interview approach, replacing the traditional paper-assisted interview method. This shift has enabled more efficient and accurate data collection, leveraging advanced technologies and methodologies, as outlined in the UN ECLAC User Guide for Population and Housing Censuses, Revision 3. The Central Statistical Office um, proudly announces the publication of the 2022 Population Housing Census Provisional um, Report. And um, this marks a milestone in our ongoing efforts to understand and, and analyze the social, economic, and um, demographic dynamics of our nation. Mathren highlighted several significant enhancements to this census report, including the addition of an infographic section, improved disaggregation of tables, enhanced analytical analysis of key findings, and the inclusion of several CARICOM recommended tables. He emphasized that the goal is to make the report available to the public as soon as possible. In this instance, the provisional, um, what it means is that um, the department will um, continue looking at the data um, with, um, with the hope to, 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 to finalizing that data by the end of the year. The Director of Statistics shared key findings from the 2022 National Population and Housing Census. These include a decrease in average household size from 2.8 individuals in 2010 to 2.6 in 2022. Additionally, the report cites a high prevalence of diabetes and hypertension in the Castries and Grosley regions. The age dependency ratio has declined from 48.6 in 2010 to 44.5 in 2022, indicating reduced pressure on the working age population. Notably, while St. Lucia's population increased from 166,526 in 2010 to 172,948 in 2022, the growth rate has declined from 5% to 3.9%. So when you compare those two growth rates, you would realize why um, the statement is being made that it's increasing, but at, but at a decreasing rate. Mathren encourages the public and stakeholders to utilize the information contained in the census. And the statistics department um, would like to urge not just the policymakers, but the general public to make, make use of that wealth of information, considering the time the resources that went into the production and generation of that um, information. This census report is the first release, with subsequent thematic publications to offer more detailed analysis and tables. Mathren indicated that the preliminary census report can be downloaded from the Central Statistical Office of St. Lucia website. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.